What is up YouTube, GT Classics here and what I have is a snapback that I bought from the store and I have a problem with it. They forgot to remove the ink security tag. Yeah, it's the second time it's happened to me, just my luck when buying snapbacks I guess. So I actually did buy this from a store which is about 30-35 minutes away from me and that's on a day without any traffic so I definitely did not want to go back. I mean, I did purchase this hat, that's a fact, I have the receipt. I actually had a conversation with the guy who was at the register who like uh, checked me out at the counter so uh, I called back later that day and he definitely did remember me and he remembered me buying and paying for the snapback so he did uh, welcome me to come back anytime and uh, he'll make a note of it at the register so they know that I'm coming but since it being so far away I want to find a way to remove it without going back to the store now I don't uh, I'm not promoting stealing or getting this uh, getting these products for free so you can remove the tag because they can still beep at the door if they are not scanned at the register so that's something to keep an eye on as well now, as you guys can see uh, there are two parts to the one one is on top of the hat and one is underneath the part that is on the inside of the hat is, is the part that has uh, the ink now if I uh, focus it zoom in a little bit as you guys can see there is a big rectangle ink pack with two colored inks inside one is blue and one is yellow now I did tape this off just in case I do make a mistake so the ink doesn't leak out but they won't be any mistake trust me it's as simple as anything I mean you can't do it in the store obviously so do not steal but uh, this is how you do it you want to first of all do not pull this off you pull this off you're gonna the spring is gonna pull back the needle and with the force it's gonna punch down into the ink bag and you have ink all over your hat and your clothes and wherever it is on your legs your bed your sofa wherever you decide to pull it off so do not do that so what you want to do is uh, get a screwdriver, a plier, a knife, scissors, whatever you want. You need some sort of a sharp object because you will need to grab and pull some things out and the plastic will be hot because you do need to melt it. So uh, fold back the cloth of course, you don't want to light that on fire. Get your lighter and light the edge, the outside part, not, on, not the part that's on the inside of the hat but the outside. You want to light this until uh, the flame stays lit on the plastic itself without the lighter. So it is a little hard doing it in front of the camera so I'm going to light it behind the camera and show you guys what it looks like. Having a little bit of a difficulty, lighter is empty, I did have to change it with a different one on the counter behind me so there you go, just keep, keep the flame lit on the plastic until it lights itself. Be careful, you don't, you don't want to burn your hat because that defies the whole purpose. There you go, the flame is lit on the plastic itself. Now you will see the plastic darken up and you will see black smoke coming up because you are burning plastic so that's the reason why I did this in a washroom so I could have the, f the fan on to ventilate the smoke. Once the flame uh, plastic, once the flame gets close to the hat and the plastic starts burning you do want to blow it out and take a look. Now if you guys take a look, if you guys, let me zoom it in, bring it closer to the camera, let me focus it a little bit. You guys can see the spring right there is still sticking out. The plastic has melted of course and retracted from the side, it has melted down. The spring is metal so it did not melt and it, it, it is still standing at full length so. Let me light this up a little bit, I took a little too long to pull the spring out so the plastic has re-hardened. And I did get a little bit of black smoke on the hat. I'll explain that later on in the video, very minor, it comes out very easily. So let me light this off, light this up a little bit again to melt the plastic so I can pull the spring up. Here we go, light number two, light it up, shouldn't take too long now that it's burnt, it should catch fire very easily. There is, it is lit, just leave it for about 5-6 seconds. And then because it's already melted the spring is exposed already so you don't need to do it for too long. It is a little hard to do this from behind the camera so I did keep moving it like closer to me away from the camera so I could take a closer look because I do not want to burn the hat of course. It is lit, it is lit. Blow it out. There you go the spring is exposed even more and I use a screwdriver, scissors, knife, anything to pull it right out. And there you go it pulls out like a knife and butter no problem all no problem at all sorry spring is out now you're not done yet there's actually one more step now quickly while the plastic is still hot you want to fold the plastic down from the sides to expose the center of this mechanism 
Now the reason why is, as you guys can see in the middle, there is a metal circle, like a cylinder. And uh, in the middle of that is the needle itself. So you do want to get the cylinder out because without that, you cannot pull the bottom part out. You cannot separate the two security tags from each side of the hat. So that cylinder, that ring in the middle is something that you need to pull out. And once you pull that out, there will be little tiny metal balls underneath, which keeps it spinning, keeps it rotating. So it cannot be screwed off. So let me focus that in and uh, let me try removing it. I might need to move a little bit more plastic out the way, but let's take a look and see how it goes. This might take a minute. I'm doing trying to keep it focused on the camera at the same time and I'm trying to pull it out with scissors, but it is not working. It is not working because the plastic on the, the edges, the circle, the plastic around it is too hard and I didn't move it out of the way enough. So what you want to do is uh, light it once again and fold the plastic out, fold it out like, you know when a flower blossoms, it just blossoms and the center is sticking out all the petals. Yeah, I mean, you know what I mean, uh, stupid reference, but I, I know you guys visualized it, you got the visual in your head, that's what you need to do, exactly that. So I'm lighting it and I will fold the plastic on the edges to the side, down, out and down, out and down, all the way around to expose the center to make it easier to pull out. I'm actually using a small screwdriver, the ones that you use for your cell phones. But anyway, there you go, as you guys can see, the metal cylinder is now fully exposed, very easily exposed, very easy to pull out now. I did try using a screwdriver or a knife, it did not work. Try using your fingers, but stupid of me, I heated it up of course to melt the plastic, which heated up the metal and I almost burned my fingers. So do not use your fingers when trying to pull this out, unless you have long nails. If you don't have long nails, use scissors or a plier. I use a pair of scissors and there you go, the whole thing just comes right out. No problem at all. Those are the metal balls I was talking about inside that keep it, keep it spinning so it cannot be screwed off. And now that the cylinder is out, the top piece comes out as easy as anything and there is the ink pack on the bottom as well. All out without any issues, without causing any damage and saving you time and money going back to the store. So that is how you remove security ink tag, no damage, no ink anywhere. There is a little black spot that I did burn by mistake but that wipes off, get a wet towel or wet cloth. Give it a free scrub, no problem. You only light the f light the lighter on your finger and you get that black smoky effect. Yeah, that's what happens and uh, it wipes off. Anything, if it doesn't come off, use some soap. It comes off right away, no problems at all. So there you have it. Now you have the snapback or whatever piece of clothing that they forgot to remove it from is in one piece, you didn't damage it and you save yourself time and money from not going back to the store. There you go. Hope you guys helped you. If you have any questions, be sure to comments to be sure to let me know in the comments below. I will get back to as many people as I can as fast as I can. If you have any problems or questions, and uh, I just want to say once again, of course, do not steal. Do not this enough for that purpose. I did not steal this. I bought it, and uh, just save me the 30 minute one way drive over 30 minutes. To save me that one way drive of 30 minutes for going back to the store. I decided to do this myself because it is not the first time that it's happened to me. It happened to me at the same store in the same mall. So just my luck at that store, I guess. So hopefully this helps you out. If you have any questions or comments, concerns, let me know in the comments below, of course, and I'll reply to every single one of you. And uh, that is basically it. That's it for this video. There's nothing more to talk about here. Be sure to subscribe if you haven't. This is a gaming and tech channel. I have a lot of tech stuff coming out. And there are two skeptics, two types of security tags I must tell you now. One is, uh, you'll say this is an ink security tag. And one will say this is ink and glass security tag. This way works for both. The one that I had bought a couple months back said uh, it was an ink security tag. And this one, as you guys can see, if I can focus it in, it's covered by tape now. This is the one that says uh, injury from ink and glass. So this would be from this one has glass in it as well and it's exact same method to remove it if it is just ink or if it's ink and glass exact same method to remove them both so there you guys have it subscribe a lot of phones cell phones uh gaming videos on this channel so if, the, if you're into that be sure to subscribe 
once again do not steal do not steal do not steal and uh, that's it be sure to let me know in the comments if you have any questions thank you for watching